we have a very special live edition of Afternoon Storytime with a very special guest, Hélène Boudreau. Yes. And Hélène is a very cool author. Is that true? <laughs> One, yes. are you very cool? Yes. In the winter and especially. Two, you are an author. I Can am. you show us some of the books that you wrote before? The first one is called Don't, uh, Real Mermaids Don't Wear Toe Rings. Okay. And I wrote a second book about mermaids and a third book about mermaids. Wow. You, uh, so yeah. our friend Jennifer is helping with the camera today and she says that at the Children's Library here, which is on the main floor, right near the Sharper's mm -hmm. Drug Mart, we have these books. Perfect. That's very cool. Yeah. So if you like mermaids, maybe your favorite Disney princess is Ariel from The Little Mermaid. I don't know. My favorite Disney princess is Ariel from it The is. Little Mermaid. Oh, great. So I think I'm going to like these books. Excellent. Very cool. And the fourth one, actually, February 4th today is, today is the launch day for this book. Oh. So it's been a bit of a busy day for me today. You've probably been on a whirlwind <laughs> media tour. Yeah, a very splashy. And what's splashy, that one splashy. called? This one, this final one of, of the series is called Real Mermaids Don't Sell Seashells, which is a tongue twister. Is that because they can't say it? <laughs> probably. I <laughs> can't say it. She sells seashells by the seashore. Exactly. It's like, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I a woodchuck would chuck as much as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> that's all I know. That's a tricky one. I think I know, that's all there one, is to it. That's it, I think. Good so. stuff. Very and then, cool. Uh, the book that we're going to read today with yes. the boys and girls is called I Dare You Not to Yawn. Uh oh. It's already not going very no, well. I didn't yawn. <laughs> I didn't yawn. I didn't. Very cool. So. Yep. This is called I Dare You Not to Yawn. It is. I wrote the story, but I had some help because the illustrator is Serge Bloch, and he did all the illustrations, so I can only take half of the credit for this well, book. So you wrote the word. It's like my favorite author, I carry one of his books around with me all the time, is um, Robert Munch. Yes. And I have my little um, Mortimer book. And Robert Munch wrote the, uh, the words, and then the art is by Michael Marchenko. Do you know what? I met Michael Marchenko one time. Really? And I almost spilled my coffee on his illustrations. Really? Because you were so excited? I was. You were like... <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's like exactly that. what happened. Is that what you did? <laughs> like, I almost spilled my coffee on you. Oh, oh my dear. Goodness. So it, I didn't make a very good impression, but ho no? hopefully he doesn't remember who I was. Oh. So next time I can say, right. oh, nice to meet you. And so how did you get to, wh where did you find Serge? Well, as part of being an author, uh, I have an editor. And okay. the editor is the person who helps me fix my words uh, oh. and makes them as good as can be. But another oh boy, part of the I job. Boy, do I need an editor. <laughs> do I, I do need an too. editor? The other part of my editor's job is to find the perfect illustrator to illustrate the words. So that is wow. her job. And actually, Serge is from France, and I've never met him face to face. Really? Yeah. So it's kind of cool to be an author. I'm working in my house yes. in Markham, Ontario. Yes. Serge is working in his studio in France, and my editor is working in New York in her office. It so must be pretty neat when you write a story yeah. and you have these characters and you really like them and you love the yeah. book and then you see someone draw the pictures and bring it to life it must be like really cool when they get it right and yes. you're like wow they totally know what I was thinking and sometimes I think to myself this is not how I imagined it and it's even better ah. so that's kind of cool too it's like when you read any book I yeah. guess I guess it's like when our friends out there maybe they read a book yeah. and then they see the movie yes and they go wait a minute that's not what that person <laughs> looks like or sounds like. Exactly. Huh. That's how uh, I feel of some movies, they get them exactly right. And sometimes I'm like, I never imagined her with brown hair. Right. <laughs> so cool. remember at the very yeah. beginning when I said I get to give this uh, dedication to somebody special? Yeah, and it was to, to Marcel. Marcel. Marcel is my daughter, and she gave me the idea for the book because when she was a little girl about your age, is anybody here four years old? Anybody four years old, five no. years old, three years old, five. three years? Five. You're five? five? Seven. Seven? How old Six. are you? Six. Six. How old are you, Superman? Five. Five. She was right Eight. around that age. Eight. And she would pretend to yawn. She'd do this, a very fake yawny yawn. She'd go, oh, 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 oh. But we didn't realize she was doing this as a trick. She was trying to trick the rest of us into yawning. And then when I finally realized what she was doing, I thought, hmm, 
what a perfect idea for a bedtime story. And that's how I got the idea for I Dare You Not to Yawn.